Hi, I'm Ryan, the Frugal Analyst, and today I'm going to show you how interest rates affects real estate prices and how to calculate the impact mathematically. By understanding the relationship, you'll be able to assess the risk of owning real estate in a changing rate environment. As of this video, real estate prices have been increasing to all-time highs and people say it's due to interest rates, inflation, and supply and demand. So how can we separate the effect of interest rates from the other two factors? So let's start with the calculation. In real estate, buyers are looking to buy based on what they can afford or their purchasing power. Let's assume supply and demand and inflation factors are not changing. The buyer wants to buy a $1 million home and can put down 20% or $200,000. The total loan amount is $1 million minus the down payment, which equals to $800,000. The 30-year fixed interest rate is at 3%. That gives us a mortgage payment of around $3,373 per month. You can calculate the mortgage payment by using Excel or Google Sheets by using the payment formula, inputting the monthly interest rate, which is the annual rate divided by 12, the term in months. So for 30 years, it would be 30 years times 12 months per year, which equals to 360 and the loan amount of $800,000. Now let's put this into a table to see the sensitivity between different interest rates. So in this table, we have the down payment, the monthly payment, the interest rate, the loan amount, and the total purchasing power. Purchasing power is the down payment plus the loan amount. So let's assume that the down payment and the mortgage payment is what the buyer can afford. Nothing more and nothing less. The only thing that's changing is the interest rate. With a lower rate like 2.75%, the buyer can afford to get a larger loan with the same monthly payment that equals to $826,000 or $26,000 more than when the rate is at 3%. You can calculate the loan amount by using the present value formula in Excel or Google Sheets by inputting the monthly interest, term, and monthly payment. Now, if we fill the table with lower and higher interest rates, this is what we got. At 2.5% interest rates, purchasing power increased by roughly $53,000 or roughly a 5% increase from our $1 million baseline. At 4%, a much higher interest rate, the purchasing power decreases by almost 10% to $900,000 from our original $1 million baseline. And graphing the interest rate and the total purchasing power, we could see that purchasing power increases when rate drops and decreases when rate increase. Plotting the purchasing power percentage change over interest rate, we can see starting with 3% interest rate, we are at 0% or our baseline purchasing power. When interest rate decrease, we have a gain in purchasing power. And when interest rate increase, we have a loss. And at an extreme scenario at 10% interest rate, purchasing power dropped by over 40% relatively. So overall, interest rate make real tangible impact in the amount of loan that the buyer can afford. Now, looking at how the real estate market has performed so far, let's calculate the impact of interest rates. So this is the home price index as defined by the S&P Cash-Shiller Index. So before COVID, on December 2019, home price index is at 212. And on September 2021, it is at 271. The growth between the two time periods is 28%. Now looking at the average 30-year fixed mortgage interest in the same time period, rate dropped from 3.75% to 3% or a 75 basis point drop. To calculate the impact of interest rates, we go back to the purchasing power sensitivity chart and we look at the 3.75% bar and the 3% interest rate bar and we could see the difference between the two is roughly around 8%. So of the 28% in higher home price, 8% is due to interest rate and the remaining 20% is due to other factors like supply and demand and inflation. Another way to say it is that 30% of the increase in home price is due to the change in interest rates. So that's it for this tutorial. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments. If this helped you, please hit the thumbs up button so more people can see this video. If you're new to the channel, I make videos to teach and optimize personal finance. So please consider subscribing. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.